Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our last video, we have discussed about the broadcast. So whenever you want to increase the performance of your SPA, we are using the broadcast join. And that is what we have learned in the last video. And as I promise, I'm going to create my second part. And this is the second part, guys, where I'm going to show you all the stuffs, like how to do the broadcast join and what is the importance of broadcast join and how to see whether it is really going with the broadcast join with the practical example. So before I just go to my screen, please do like, subscribe and share this channel. I know there are a lot of people they are liking this series, especially to the Spark performance tuning as well as Spark interview questions. So in the future also, we will try to add more and more videos. So please do like, subscribe and share this channel. And if you are interested for Oracle or Hadoop training, you can definitely reach out to me. So let's go to my screen. Now let us try to understand the broadcast join with example. So we are using the broadcast join when we have one table, which is a small table. And we have another table, which is a big table. And let's say you want to join these two table and one of the table, which is a small table. So what you can do, you can use the join with the help of broadcast join. This will help you to increase the performance. Now, in order to understand this concept, I'm taking one example where I have a two data frame. Okay. So let's say this is one data frame is there which is storing the information related to your first name and last name okay and along with that city name okay there is another data frame is there okay which is df2 which store the information related to your city name and related to some other kind of stuffs like population so if you see this data frame 1 and data frame 2 the city name is common right so on the city name, you can do your join. Now let's try to do the join on data frame one and data frame two with the realistic example. If you see this community edition of Databricks, you can see over here that I have created the first data frame. Well, people DF. So exactly what it is storing, we have created one sequence which store the information related to the first name and the city. So this is my first data frame. I have another data frame which store the information related to the city, country and population. In data frame 1 and data frame 2, you can see that city is common. So on this city, you can perform your join operation. Right now, let me try to just run this command and let's see what will be the output. Now before that, let's try to understand this statement. People df which is your df1. Okay, so data frame one is joining on data frame two. Okay, on city of df1 and city of df2. So wherever you see the city, it will fetch all the details related to that city only. Okay, so that is what and I'm using the explain so that we'll understand whether it is going with the which join. So I'm just running it. Let's wait for the output. And if you see the output here, you can see it has gone through the broadcast hash join. So what does it mean? By default, starting from the latest version of Spark, it will try to go with the broadcast join only if you are one of the data frame of size less than 10 MB. So the default size of your brought the default size of uh, the default threshold of your data frame if it is less than 10 MB then it will go ahead with the broadcast join and let's say if the size is more than 10 MB then it will go with the sort merge join so what I'm going to do I will just disable this broadcast join and let's see what will be the output in order to disable the broadcast you need to use this one so I had commented it one and the property is spark dot sql auto broadcast join threshold minus one this is what you need to specify now when i'm say specifying this minus one i am saying to the spark that I don't use the broadcast join so let me try to run it one more time and then we will see the output now once i am disabling the broadcast join you can see that it is using the sort merge join so previously it was using broadcast join because my data frame size is too small 
okay which is which is less than the 10 mb now it is using the sort merge join because we disable the <laughs> broadcast right so let's try to go into more deeper way and we'll try to understand the broadcast now what i'm going to do we can change this auto broadcast join size also if you just use this command see i just tried to use this command and if i'm going below so before that let me enable the broadcast join and we will try to run it one more time so just uncomment and let me try to run it one more time so currently it is using broadcast join and the size of broadcast threshold it is showing as 20 mb why because i set up the property and we can change the threshold also so i have changed the threshold to 20 mb here at this point i have disabled the auto broadcast join which i mentioned with the property auto broadcast join threshold minus one so this will disable the, your auto broadcast join second thing is now it is not going with the broadcast join it is going with the sort mode join let's say i want to use the broadcast join so what i will do i will mention like this so this is the first data frame which is joining on second data frame i am assuming that the second data frame is my small data frame so we are going to use broadcast b r o a d broadcast put it into the bracket then try to run it let's see the answer oh there is some issue uh, let me check b r o a d oh spelling mistake let me correct it and let me try to run it right now again it is using the broadcast join okay this is what i need and uh, if you want to use the broadcast join explicitly this is how you need to use that okay and this is the way now if i want to change the threshold again i can uncomment this one and then try to run it see here you are getting the output as 20 mb so just now i change the threshold of my auto broadcast auto broadcast and this is how you can perform it so if i want to repeat the same thing let me try to uh, put it in the right way what we did we created the two data frame data frame one and data frame two on the top of it we tried to do the joining if you are not specifying the broadcast and if your data frame size is less than 10 mb still it will go for the broadcast only with the latest version of spark if the size of your data frame is more than 10 mb which is a default size then it will go with the sort merge join but let's say i you you explicitly want to use the broadcast join still you can use it just mention the broadcast and then the small data frame then it will use the broadcast join if you want to change the threshold of your broadcast then you can use by using the set command so this is how you can set the size of your broadcast and this is how you can use the broadcast with the example so i hope the things are pretty much clear if you have any questions let me know and thank you so much for watching this video please do like subscribe and share this channel